Buenos días, soy yo, Stephanie, de Apex Languages, con un nuevo vocabulario vivo, for those of you excited to learn some new Spanish vocabulary. If you uh, celebrate the holiday, Happy Easter, in Spanish, we say Feliz Pascua. Repeat after me, Feliz Pascua, Feliz Pascua, Feliz Pascua. You've seen Feliz a bunch of times, it means happy. So happy Pascua Easter. The focus of today's episode, however, is now on coworkers. You know, how do you describe the people at work? We've spent a lot of time describing our family members. Some people spend more time with their work family than they do with their real family. Either way, uh, it's important vocabulary to know. So in Spanish, the word for work is el trabajo. What do you call the worker? There's a couple of different ways to say it. If you're a male, you would be called el empleado o el trabajador. So you see here, trabajo, work, worker, trabajador. Trabajo, trabajador. If you're a female, you're la empleada o la trabajadora. So uh, you know, again, you, by now you should be used to a little bit. O is male, A is female. Um, let's start, repeat after me, uh, trabajador. Okay, so trabajo, trabajador, trabajadora. One more time, trabajo, trabajador, trabajadora. One more time, that's pretty uh, tricky to say. Trabajo, trabajador, trabajadora. Then we have empleado, empleada, empleado, empleada. Uh, these you most likely recognize, uh, they're uh, pretty similar to employee, okay? On that note, how do you say the boss? Okay, we have employee, empleado, empleada. Employer is empleador. So there is similarity where we would say er, work er, trabajador, uh, employer, empleador. Okay, so you do have that R. That's kind of similar to English. Uh, keep in mind, even though I didn't write it here, el empleador, la empleadora. Okay, so you just add the A if it's feminine. Um, so that's employer which can be a person, but you know, as in English, it's more uh, usually the company. The boss person is el jefe, el jefe, el jefe. And if it's a female, la jefa. This actually, usually when the word ends in an E, it doesn't change because of, of gender, but because we're talking about a real person here, in this case, um, la jefa. So the E in this case becomes an A in the feminine. La jefa. La jefa. Uh, my son and I have a joke when he uh, used to play his video games in Spanish and the big boss would show up. He would say, mommy, it's it's Jeff. <laughs> and I say, what, Jeff? Jeff who? Jefe. Jeff. Um, so maybe that helps you remember a little bit. It's a little weird, but maybe it works. So el jefe. And then for someone, um, you know, then you've got your supervisor. Keep in mind in Spanish, it's pronounced supervisor. So obviously supervisor, it looks like it, but don't be tricked. You still have to pronounce it like in Spanish. So el, super, um, el supervisor, supervisor, supervisor. And the feminine, again, there are feminine and masculine forms because we're talking about people. Regular nouns don't uh, usually uh, have as many options, but uh, el supervisor, la supervisora, supervisora, supervisora. Now, what about your coworker? You can say el colega or la colega. This word is actually weird because you would say el colega. Okay, so that's just something to remember. Now, the thing about colega is that, uh, you know, I mean, you recognize it from colleague, right? And where, you know, colleague in English is sort of a little bit more formal. 
and it sort of has this idea of someone that you work closely with, but it's a formal relationship. The same is true in Spanish. So you can say colleague, colega, colega, colega. Um, but really, unfortunately, the more common way to say your coworker is this big long word here. El compañero de trabajo. Compañero is um, companion, right? De trabajo, de, your work companion. Let me break this up first, uh, repeat uh, word by word. Compañero, compañero de, de means of, de trabajo, trabajo. Now let's do the whole thing together. Compañero de trabajo, compañero de trabajo, compañero de trabajo. Feminine, you can make it la compañera de trabajo, compañera de trabajo. Finally, last but not least, you might be your worker, uh, your, your, your co-worker, but if you just want to call him friend, obviously very important word. Amigo, el amigo, el amigo, la amiga, la amiga. So we've learned work and we've learned worker. How do you say to work? Well, let's take a look again at the verbs we've learned so far. We've learned ser, uh, but also estar and llamar. These are both AR verbs. They follow a pattern. Okay, in the yo form, the I form, it's O. In the usted, the formal you, it's A. In the he form, it's A. In the she form, it's A. So again, usted, el, ella, they are considered together as the uh, third person singular. Even though you is usually a second person idea, formal you is a third person singular idea. I'm going to add one more thing to that. Uh, because we've learned son, right? That's a third person plural. Ustedes, ellos, ellas, that's y'all, you plural, uh, and they, right? In, in Spanish, or sorry, with ser, it's es and son. So son has an N on it. That's the general pattern, okay? So estar, están. So instead of an A in the third person singular, it's a N. That N is for they, okay? So estoy, esta, esta, están. Llamo, llama, llama, llaman. Let's move on to, to work. Well, just regular work is trabajo, worker, trabajador. And then we have trabajar. So that AR ending, trabajar. So if I want to say that I work, I say yo trabajo. Okay, very similar to trabajo. Tengo trabajo, I have work. Uh, yo trabajo, I do work. Okay. Trabajo, yo trabajo, usted trabaja. El trabaja, ella trabaja. And then, again, we add N to make it plural. Okay, ustedes trabajan, ellos trabajan, ellas trabajan. Let's put everything together. One more piece of the puzzle you're going to need for this exercise. The word for with is con. Okay, con. So, I work with my coworker. Well, yo trabajo con, okay, coworker again, compañero de trabajo, and my is me. We've been practicing that, right? So, trabajo con mi compañero de trabajo. Remember, in Spanish, most of the time, we don't use the pronoun. You could say yo trabajo con mi compañero de trabajo. That's just more emphasis, though. It's just not, normally, it's not there, so. Trabajo con mi compañero de trabajo. Try to get in the habit of focusing on the end of your verb instead of relying on that pronoun. 
I work with my coworkers. I've made it plural. How would I say, so compañero de trabajo, how would I make that plural? Trabajo con mis compañeros de trabajo. Compañero, companion, is the noun. Uh, basically, you know, companion from work, they, they can be of or it can mean from. So uh, companions from work. If I made that plural, I would say companions from work, right? I wouldn't make work plural. I would do my companions. Same thing in Spanish. Just remember the difference is you also have to make your adjective plural. So don't forget mis. Okay, trabajo con mis compañeros de trabajo. He works with his co-workers. Bueno, usted, uh, él, él, he, él, trabaja. So, trabaja con sus compañeros de trabajo. Su is the pronoun for his. So, trabaja con sus compañeros de trabajo. She works with her co-workers. Ella trabaja con sus compañeros de trabajo, or just trabaja con sus compañeros de trabajo. Again, ella is optional. They work with their co-workers. Trabajan con sus compañeros de trabajo. Ellos trabajan con sus compañeros de trabajo. Okay. You work with your co-workers. Well, now this time it will be different uh, whether it is singular or plural, okay? Is it you, yourself, just you, singular? That would be usted trabaja con sus compañeros de trabajo, okay, usted, or trabaja. Or ustedes trabajan con sus compañeros de trabajo, okay? Other than that, everything's the same. Now that you're totally sick of that sentence, let me give you another one to translate. My husband works with his boss. Okay, we're gonna practice what we've learned this week and what we've learned in past weeks. My husband, how do you say husband? Esposo, think spouse, esposo. Me, esposo. Wife is esposa, but husband, esposo, mi esposo. How do you say works? He works is el trabaja, so mi esposo trabaja with, con, his, su, and boss, jefe, sí, supervisor, but jefe, okay? So, mi esposo trabaja con su jefe. Let me repeat that again. Mi esposo trabaja con su jefe. Juan is his boss. We practiced that sentence a lot last time. Juan is his boss. Well, is, are we talking permanent or temporary? Permanent, so we use said, es, his boss. We already did that. The sentence reads, Juan es su jefe. Juan es su jefe. One more sentence, this one's more challenging, but we have learned how to say it, right? We've talked about my name is, his name is, the verb is llamar. We just went over that. Now remember, it's uh, reflexive, it's a little weird, but let's start with his boss, okay? So his boss is su jefe, and then his name is, is se Llama. So, su jefe se llama Juan. Su jefe se llama Juan. Now that we've got a list of people to talk about, expect to practice those verbs more and more. All right, hopefully I didn't stress you out too much today. Thank you as always for watching. Check out more videos at apexlanguages.com and have a wonderful, safe, healthy, festive rest of your weekend.